Hey, hey people, Theo here, and I'm back with more Subnautica. In the last episode, I think, yeah, I started working on the Cyclops. Basically to be able to make the Cyclops, I started working on that. So today, we're going to continue doing that. And... Nope. Make a subcops and I guess go exploring afterwards. Eh, we'll see. Uh, yeah, so we need a namel, a name, uh, a nemal, a kneeled glass three, and I don't have any quartz, do I? Nope. That doesn't look like it. Uh, but I also need one more. Uh, mm -hmm. The hell? Really? There isn't any? There isn't any teeth here? Okay, then I... Salt... Also no quartz. What? This is really weird. Sandstone. I am at the right base. Not something that I need to go and destroy that one. They'll be dumb. Uh, map. I don't want the map. Uh, and also, it seems kind of dumb because I'm going to have the Cyclops made before the. That's no quartz. Okay. I'm going to have the Cyclops made before. Uh, what's it called? The battle suit. Oh, no, no, no. What is it? Bronze suit. So, yeah, that seems kind of... dumb. Also, can you shut up? Uh, any more quads, please? Also, I thought that today, before starting to record, I would make myself a cocktail. Because I... First of all, it's hot as hell outside. It's 32 degrees right now. Which, for my American audience, let me quickly look... Is... 89.6 uh, Fahrenheit. Uh, so yeah, it's hard as balls. <sighs> so I decided to, why not, make myself a quick cocktail. Nice and cold. So, if I start, in the next three episodes, if I start blabbering and being incoherent, you should know why. But I don't think that should happen. And if you want to know, uh... What? Welcome aboard, Captain. Uh, kind of cocktail I made myself. Then... It's three shots of vodka. Uh, I think four shots of mango slash pineapple juice. And... Three shots of... Uh... What was it? Ah, uh, I forget the name. How did I forget the name? Uh, cherries. Yep. Uh, not cherry fruit, but uh, you have like preserved cherries with some juice in it. That juice. So three shots of that. And it's it's dangerous. That's what I'm going to say. It's dangerous because 
I can't taste the vodka. So I'm kind of scared, what will it do to me when I finish drinking it? But we'll see how far it gets. Okay, let's have a look. Can I now scan? Yes, I can. Four more quartz. That's what I need. So, if you sometimes hear a clank, uh, that's me taking a sip. Right now, I didn't take a sip, but you will know what it is when you hear it. There it is. And also, I topped it off with some club soda. So that I wouldn't you know, be drinking just straight juice. Since I'm getting uh, to that point of life where, you know... Oh, I have full inventory. That's not good. I'm getting to the point in life where you would call me a old adult, I guess. Because, you know, the older you get, the more the prospect of having a watered-down uh, juice becomes more appealing, for example. Oh, don't need that. Uh, come back. This. Going back to base. Gonna scare for some... Scare? Scan. Scan. For some... Uh, stalker teeth. Stop scanning that. And there isn't any. So I'm going to have to go ahead and get some. I don't have enough quartz. God damn it. Of course I forgot. I really am forgetful. How's this looking? Still pretty good. That's surprising. But this there... I don't need copper. I also... I do need lead. Plus steel ingots. I also need it. Plus steel ingots. I need titanium ingot and lithium. I also need more titanium. A lot more titanium, actually. And... Where do I get lithium? I forgot. Chinese potato. Give me that. Uh. <sighs> Blueprints, data... No, geological data. Titanium copper, lead, silver, gold, gold, lithium, diamond. So shale. For that, I need to go into the caves. That's not that good. So I'm gonna do that later on. So first. Let's get some stalker teeth. What that means is that I need to uh, find some wreckage and deliver it to stalkers. That's a stalker, and where's the wreckage? Also, gonna be scanning these for more titanium. Really? No wreckage around here? Oh, there's one. Oh, metal salvage, not wreckage. Uh, there's another one. I think this one is the bad one. 
What I mean by that one is that there are some metal salvages that actually don't make the stalkers lose their teeth. Inventory full. Completely? Completely. Okay then, back to the sea moth, because there was a stalker right there. And there's also a stalker right here. Okay. No? Not interested? Oh, hello. Stop. Come on. Nothing. Nothing. This is really surprising. Thirty seconds. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. We get some oxygen back. Thank you. Back to you guys. Really? Not gonna give me any stalker teeth? That's not very cash money of you. Also, yeah. This is better for looking. I really don't see any. Hmm. Yep, I was here already. Hello. Well then, back to the sea moth. I'm not full right now, so I'm gonna full, uh, fill up. That back to Seamoth and then back to base because maybe a stalker somewhere lost its tooth. Nice camera too. At least I hope that they lost their tooth. Come on, please, please, please. Yes. Uh, nothing yet. Ah, there's one. Afterwards, a bit more quartz. By a bit more, I mean one. Damn, it's already been 30 minutes. I didn't even notice. Well, come on. Where are you? There's one. There's two. And there's more salvage. But I can't have that right now. Back to base. Real quick. Also, while I'm traveling, uh, I went into my YouTube analytics just to, you know, uh, to play around and find out some stuff. I found out that 36%, the largest percentage of my viewers, are American. Which I thought would be a bit different. I thought it would be British, but... I guess I'm wrong on that. Uh, quartz. I guess I'm wrong on that, that, you know... British people will be my 
will be the per people that will be viewing the most of my stuff. Uh, how much do I need? I need just one. Okay, but I need two lithium. So four lithium to make this. Okay. Uh, this goes there. Okay. The gold, I don't need it. These two I need. This I need. This I need. This I need. This I don't need. We can take that. Some water. I don't have any distilled water. Really? Like, I know that I can... You know, just eat this. Come on. Uh, I hate that you can't hit that properly. Okay. There we go. That. And this. Cannot eat that, unfortunate. Uh, so I need more quartz. quick also gonna need to get some recharged batteries now right and to be able to get some lithium Welcome aboard, Captain. there isn't anything here yep nothing Oh, I need two quarts. God damn it. Um, why didn't I check that? Why am I so dumb? That was one this way. Come on. That's salt. Oh, there's quartz. Okay, there we go. Also gonna need four lithium. <sighs> now I need to remember where the cave was. Glass. Enamel glass. I still don't know how to spell that. And I don't care. Okay, get rid of that. Get rid of anything that I don't need. Battery. Battery. These two. Okay. I also would like some water. I have food, but I need some water. That's going to be that. And a leech. That's a fine extinguisher. Uh, bleach is made here with a salt deposit. There we go. Some dis distill uh, distilled disinfected water. Okay, that's good enough. Yep. Lantern fruits. Eat that. And now figure out a way to get some stuff. Um, that cave. I was in the red, red sands biome, that I know, but I think in the other one. Also, I can properly explore that cave, so maybe I will do that in the next episode. 
in today's episode, I want to finish, you know, uh, making the Cyclops. Red sands, okay. Red sands, red uh, grass, and there's the thing. Let's go down. Ow. Okay. Hmm? Did I enter from a different point? I think I did. Because last time, that wasn't underneath me. Very surprising. Also, I can go right next to it. Ow. What are you? Oh, modification station fragment. Okay. That doesn't function anymore. But this does. Nope. Stacy's rifle. Yes, finally. That's the next thing they're making. Thermal plant fragment. Okay. Nope. Windows are broken. Nuclear reactor fragment. Um. Uh, come on. What is the way that I can enter? Oh, there it is. Ow. Can you? Let me go. Thank you. Um, Water filtration machine. That I'm making. Definitely. How much longer? Oh, because it's made in one time. Okay. PDA, PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Uploaded to PDA. Nothing here. Print acquired. Nothing here. Anything here? Oh, data box. Another PDA. New print acquired. Integrating new PDA data. Okay. Integrating new PDA data. I think I need to go for a breath of fresh air. Oh, fresh. Not really fresh. 30 seconds. Okay. Move you over here. Ow. Ah, come on. Anything up here? Oh, another, another abandoned PDA. New PDA data. Ow. Oh. Did I die for the first time? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Doesn't dying drop half my inventory? <sighs> okay, it didn't. Thank goodness. Chinese potato. Eat. Okay. Now. I need to make my way over there without a seamoth because no nope, I died it stayed there so I'll see you when I get there okay I'm near getting in or more like going in of course I die because I didn't pay attention to my health Um, 
uh, can I find like my body? Doesn't seem like it. Nope. Okay. Back to the sea mouth. Welcome aboard, Captain. Let's read the stuff that I just got. Also, ultra high capacity tank. Four more lithium. Great. So I need eight lithium. Water filtration. Aerogel. Great. Turn seawater into water and salt. Okay. Okay. And the main thing. This. The stasis rifle. Magnetite. I think I have that. Okay. Let's go read. Blueprints. Water filtration system. The filtration system draws water unfit for human consumption from an external source, automatically splits it into its con constituted parts and outputs consumable liquid water and salts while dis depositing any harmful byproduct. It can be built in any comp com compatible habitat module, but has substantial power requirements. The Altera water, fi water filtration system in liquid into pure, refreshing, pH balanced water. Yes, sir. Any liquid. Does that mean piss too? I'm sorry, but I had to ask. Nuclear reactor. Renewable energy sources will usually be sufficient for maintaining a small outpost. For everything else, there's nuclear power. Powered uh, by up to four replaceable ura uranium reactor rods. Which I don't know how to make, at least not yet. Do not attempt to replace reactor rods without a full radiation suit. Do not attempt to overclock the reactor. Nuclear is ideal for energy intense operations such as self sufficient colonies supporting more than 20 people, industrial outposts operating multiple docks and heavy machinery, research stations housing live specimens. Okay, and thermal plant. It looks like this. Uh, the first rule of survival in hostile environments is to work with the resources available. If it's 800 degrees outside and you're in danger of burning to death at any moment, you may as well get some cheap, reliable energy out of it. Converts heat energy into electricity, always take thermometer readings before attempting installation. Core mechanisms are housed in heat resistant cha uh, chassis. Chassis? But are not impervious to extreme temperatures. Okay. So that's blueprints. Data downloads. The Galaxy Survivors. Long number one. This world. I thought it might get claustrophobic living underwater. Father feels it is. He'd tell me it was childish. But I stare out of the window and sometimes I think how lucky I am to see this world up close. Back on the island, I wouldn't have believed the creatures that live down here. The fish, they glow. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Snakes twice the length of a habitat compartment. Certainly, it's not all friendly. Most of the plant life's toxic. Learned that the hard way. But I've managed to coax some marble melons into growing indoors. And when they don't cover our dietary needs, well, we eat the fish themselves. It's a bit gross, but there's nothing they wouldn't do. I've been attempting to document my findings. Father approves. He says, understanding is power. That the more we know about this planet, the more we can use it to our advantage. I'm just doing it because it's fun. It's not easy without proper equipment and network access. But the old-fashioned way, observing, taking notes, testing theories, shows me the world in a way a spectroscopic analysis never could. Lately, I've been watching the crab snakes. They ambush their prey as it tries to feed on the mushrooms they hide in. What they don't eat is on the seabed which fertilizes the mushrooms, which feeds the herbivores, and so the chain continues. Coevolution gives me the fuzzies. Hmm, <laughs> coevolution gives me the fuzzies. Uh, these snakes are bastards. Also gonna need this. Thank you. Ah, <sighs> stalker teeth. Something incredible just happened. Since we're down here, I had this plan to build equipment and study the life forms we were encountering. But I didn't have enough enameled glass. So, I started looking for a natural substrate that would strengthen the glass we have. And those stalker teeth we've been finding fit the bill. Only, well, we needed more. That's when Marguerite got interested. She actually listened to me. More than I can say for father. 
and I worked up the courage to talk about my more tentative theories. When I told her they were attracted to metal deposits, that their teeth get dislodged when they pick them up, her eyes narrowed and she dashed out of the room. Three hours later, she came back, her pack loaded down with stalker teeth. I asked her about it. She shrugged and said my theories were good. <laughs> said she had the meeting out of the palm of her hand. I think she meant it literally. She is incredible. She went out to the kelp forest armed with just a heat blade and went fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. On the one hand, that is the coolest thing I have ever heard. On the other, well, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite did. She had a huge gash on her forearm. I don't think things went as smoothly as she made out. And what's the point in surviving here if we have to kill everything that makes it so wonderful? I wish I knew more about these animals. But father won't let me leave the habitat. Maybe with all this glass, we could build a containment unit and get up close to them. Hmm. Oh, there it is. I cannot scan it. Unfortunate. Uh, how much lithium? Only two. I need six more. Come on, down. Uh, diamond, of course, is diamond. The only effect that I'm missing in this game, I'm talking about technological effect, is that when you're close to the seabed, it should kick up dust and sand. Which it doesn't. Also, what the hell was that sound right now? I didn't like that sound. Uh, repair tool. Go there. Because I um, might need to repair the seamoth in a second. Okay. Gold. That's not what I need. That's repair. That's not what I wanted. Thank you. And it's been 32 minutes. So, without much further ado, goodbye. Hope to see you in the next one. If you have any questions, put it down in the comments. If you like the video, leave a like. Um, and... Hope you have a great rest of the day. Ciao.